Hi, this is Marto. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video I will show you a game between Emil Sutowski and Ilias Mirin. This is a game from Israeli Championship played in 2002. Emil Sutowski had white pieces and he started with e4. Ilias Mirin played c5, Sicilian defense. Knight to c3, knight to c6, knight to f3 and black to move. Ilias Mirin played e5. Not so common move. With this move, black is preventing white from playing d4. However, this move has a downside. It is weakening d5 and f5 square. The most played moves in this position are g6, d6 and e6. Yes, Mirin played e5. Bishop to c4. d6. d3, intending knight to g5. Bishop to e7. So if knight to f6, knight to g5. So bishop to e7. Emil Sotovsky castled kingside. Knight to f6. Knight to g5. Ilias Mirin castled kingside. f4 in order to open the file for the rook. Pawn takes pawn, bishop takes pawn, h6, knight to f3, bishop to e6, knight to d5, bishop takes on d5, pawn takes on d5, attacking the knight, knight to a5. It looks like that the bishop on c4 will be dead soon. Can't do much about the bishop. Knight to h4 was played. The knight may be coming to f5 b5 attacking the bishop white to move what is the best move for white in this position what would you do Ilias mirin was hoping for this continuation bishop takes pawn knight takes on d5 attacking the knight on h4 emil zutowski played a surprise move Knight to f5, sacrificing the bishop. Pawn takes bishop. Why did white sacrifice the bishop? What would you do now if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best move for white. What did you find? Is it easy to find a move for white or not? Emil Zotowski. Sacrifice the bishop on h6. This was a second surprise, even bigger than the first one. Pawn takes bishop. Knight takes on h6 check. White has two pawns for two sacrificed pieces. Normal good sacrifices when you get two pawns plus the attack on the king for your sacrificed piece. King to h7. How to continue now? The game continued. Knight to f5. C takes on d3. Queen takes on d3, aligning the queen with black. King. King goes to a safe square. Rook from a to e1. Black has more pieces, but that army is better mobilized, isn't it? The bishop on e7 is under attack. Queen to b6, white to move. Well, what was Ilias Mirin was hoping for is this continuation. Knight takes on e7, c4, check. Attacking the queen. Queen to e3, blocking. Knight to g4, queen takes on b6, pawn takes on b6, and black is fighting back. Emil Sutowski played queen to h3, check. Knight to h7. Rook takes bishop on e7, c4 check, king to h1, queen takes pawn on b2, rook to e4, rook to g8, white to move. White played the move and black resigned. The move is queen takes on h7 check. Black resigned because of checkmate in five, believe it or not. Let's see the game 
till the end. So after king takes queen, rook to h4 check, king to g6, rook to h6 check, king to g5, h4, king to g4, knight to e3 check, king to g3, rook to f3, check, mate. This is an art, isn't it? Would you like to learn how to play like this? Hmm? What do you think of this game? Ultimate Attacking Play Bundle can be yours today. You will become a better attacking player. You will win more games and enjoy your chess even more. Decide to be a better player today. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.